Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode it is March 1st and we have a lot of work to do. But first of all, yeah, I trimmed the beard. <laughs> uh, I thought it was time for a change. I've looked like a mountain man for the last two, three years. Uh, so I shortened it up, but it'll grow back. So don't worry. My wife loves it. Um, so yeah, anyway, <laughs> that has nothing to do with what we're about to do in the game though. But you're probably wondering. Okay, anyway, so yeah, let's see here. Let's take a look at stuff. I haven't done anything um, over the winter because there isn't really anything to do. Uh, you know what we haven't done though? I totally forgot that we need to pay our worker for moving pallets because that has happened. Uh, that means we owe our worker for January and February for the last two months. So we owe them $6,400. We'll just pretend like we've been paying them all along and everything's cool and everybody's happy. And yeah. <laughs> okay. So that brings us down to $29.50. We are, we're dead gum near broke, man. Um, so anyway, yeah, let's look and see what's going on. This is what's in the sale. Nothing. There's a couple things that came up in the sale that I wouldn't mind having, but money's kind of tight right at the moment. So. Uh, we didn't get anything there. Uh, let's take a look at our chickens. So chickens are doing good. I did top off their food in January, so they're fine for now. Uh, the cows are almost out of food. They only have 1,931 liters left. So it looks like we can go about two months with one um, a mixer load of feed. So we're going to have to get them fed. They, they have been producing milk, though, uh, and slurry, and I expect to see some amount of manure in the manure pit uh, when we go over there. Uh, that's important because we are just about out of fertilizer in our greenhouses and I want to start using uh, manure instead of fertilizer in these greenhouses. Now, um, yeah, so we need to go feed the cows. Uh, we need to cut our hay, do our first hay cutting. And uh, I, di I didn't bother to do anything with field 53 or whatever, this field here. Yeah, 53, because you can't plant anything until March anyways. Uh, so I got to get that field ready and planted here in March uh, with, with hay. We're not doing anything with the barley. We're just letting that go until uh, we harvest the barley, and then we'll convert that to hay. 51 has looked like, looks like it has corn on it. But well, that's not ours right at the moment anyways. Okay, I want to do some work over in this area here and convert this to uh, a little bit of a grass field as well until in the future we expand it with more animals later. Uh, so that needs to be done. I got a couple trees we got to cut down as a part of that process. So yeah, there's just a ton of things to do. So let's start by going over and looking at the cows and getting them um, some feed. And I also want to see how much manure we have over there. I'm going to need, um, actually, here, let's take, I, I haven't done anything with the cold storage yet or haven't bought any new sheds because money's just, like I said, been really tight. Uh, we had money going out in over the winter, but we, what in the world is going on here? That's weird. Uh... Never seen this happen before. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's because my head tracking's on, but it was all messed up. Okay, yeah, that was freaking me out. Um, okay, so let's put our lights on. So, yeah, what were we saying? What was I saying? Can't remember now. Let me, um, hold on a sec. I need this key here. No, not that key. This key. There. Okay, that resets it. Because it was off a little bit. Um. Yeah, so I think I was saying that I haven't put any sheds up yet because we haven't really had the money to do that. So that'll come later. Uh, looks like we have a, a full pallet there to put away. We might as well grab it and do it right now while I'm thinking about it. All right. So yeah, let's go get the cows fed and see how much manure we have. And then, 
uh, hopefully we have enough to at least get started with fertilizing the sheds. I don't know if the manure is going to last as long in the, uh, I'm sorry, not the sheds, the greenhouses. I don't know if the manure is going to last as long in the greenhouses as it does, as the granular fertilizer does. But, I mean, we went over a year bef uh, without having to refill the fertilizer. Now, I've had to refill the seeds a couple of times throughout the year, but not the uh, fertilizer. That may not be the case with the manure, though, so we'll just have to see. Okay, so we have 12,536 liters. That's not a lot of manure. I don't know how much. That's, I don't know how far that's going to get us. Probably not very far, I'm thinking. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for greenhouses. Yeah, that's. I don't even think that's enough to fill up one greenhouse. So we might just have to wait on this and let it build up a little bit more before we transition to manure. But that's okay. I mean, I've got, I've got uh, granular fertilizer, like 9,000 liters worth of it. So we're probably just going to have to keep using that um, and top off the. Um, greenhouses with the granular fertilizer. Sorry, I'm, a, I'm trying to think of too many things all at the same time here. So I get, yeah, we're going to need the tractor. We use the telly for loading, but we need the tractor to run the actual mixer. So let's get you over there. I actually took the rest of that mineral feed and just popped it in the mixer. So it's already sitting in there. All right. We're going to need maybe two of these, the 1.5 rounds. How many do we have in total? We have five. Okay, that's good. So we should be able to do work with two here. Okay. Uh, we only needed one hay bale last time, so that's good. Hay's going to last us quite some time here. And we need... Do we need to top up? Whoops. Top off the straw. No, I don't think we do. I, the straw is fine. I'll keep an eye on it. I mean, I'm not going to let it run out because we're trying to produce manure. Uh, but we don't need the straw for that. But we are going to want one thing of straw for the mix. Okay, square bale 2.4 and one bale. There we go. Okay, so let's run back over to the... Um, Get our tractor and bring that over here, and we'll get a get some mix going for our cows, and then after that, we'll get some fertilizer going for our greenhouses, and then after that, we'll take the milk over to the dairy. <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, go from there. Actually, you know what? I never looked at contracts. Weeding? Are you kidding me? No, I don't want to take that. I accidentally took it. <laughs> Whoops! Cancel. Sorry, that was an accident. Uh, yeah, okay. Clear contracts. Okay, that's what we want is fertilizing. We will take all the fertilizing contracts that come up. That's not a lot, but it's a little, it's a little something. It's a little something. I suppose we could hook the tractor up to the, the trailer and, and just see how much manure we or how much we can fill one greenhouse with that manure it'd be worth a try i suppose but I'm pretty sure we're not going to get very far with it yeah let's give it a try well here no let's well yeah we could take the uh whoa we'll take the trailer over there I really should not be using trailer that we use to haul feed around in for manure too. <laughs> um, I guess what we'll do for now is we'll just make sure we thoroughly wash it out. But you wouldn't do that probably in real life because you could contaminate the feed. But we just don't have... Well, actually we do have the big trailer. Yeah, I guess we could relegate this to the manure trailer. Big trailer's a little bit more of a pain in the butt to move around, but 
not that we can't do it though. I'm gonna need to do a little bit more landscaping work over here too. We gotta we gotta smooth this ridge down uh, because I'm planning on just plant, planting more grass and hay. Those all those trees in front of us, those are gonna have to go. So we'll cut those down. Okay, let's pull up here. And we should be able to fill up. Start filling. Well, it filled the trailer up 67%. Oh, I gotta take the the lock off. Um so yeah, that's from that's basically two months worth of manure. It's not a ton, really, if you think about it, with two months going by. I guess I'm saying that from the standpoint that we probably don't have enough cows to fully support the greenhouses with manure. It might, eventually it might work, though, as long as the greenhouses don't consume the manure uh, really quickly. So, I don't know. There's only one way to find out, and that's just to do it. See what happens, right? Okay, why don't we start with this greenhouse? We might just have to slowly convert them all to manure as time goes on. Okay, so, Control-I. Um, hold on. Why is that not going in the greenhouse? Was I not? Oh, that's why. Okay. I wasn't close enough. All righty. Well, what that means then... Darn it. <laughs> We're going to have to... Did this take manure? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I didn't... I wasn't actually over the trigger. I saw a start unloading, and I thought that would work, but that just means dump it on the ground. Um, crap. You know what? I don't have a bucket either. Well, maybe it's time to get one. All right, tell you what, we'll come back and deal with this later. I want to get the cows fed first. Yeah, that was a mistake. Not one we can't recover from, though, but mistake nonetheless. So if you look on the graph in the, in the left-hand side, you can see it's full of mineral feed now because I threw the rest of that pallet in here. But that will, of course, change as we start putting the other stuff in. Okay, so we want to turn on the mixer wagon. Okay, we're going to start with silage. We know we're going to put a full one of these in. I know we're going to put a full hay bale in. Oh, wow. I guess I wasn't down as close to that as I thought I was. That's better.
Okay. Now I think the last time we put about 60% of another silage bale in, if I recall correctly. So let's see if we can more or less do that. And then the rest will be straw. about 60%. We might need some more mineral feed too, actually. Yeah, I think I think once we put the straw in, it's going to water down the mineral feed too much. So let's buy another one of these. And run over and grab that first. Now we're down to 1925. Money's gonna be tight for a few months. That's up. It's okay, I'm not worried about it. We are going to be just fine, ladies and gentlemen. Just fine indeed. We actually have two times out of the year where milk and, sh or I mean, cheese and butter is, uh, the prices are high. Uh, it's in like September and then again in J January, February time. Oh, I was going to put up a, a restaurant for Mama Jo. I completely forgot about that, that she's paying for. Maybe she's had a little bit of a tight year, so we might have to wait till next year for that, too. All right, now this time I only want to put about maybe a th third of this pallet in. And then that way we'll have enough for the next mix. So I gotta really watch it here. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. All right, yeah, that's pretty good. This will probably be enough for the next mix then. Just drop this over here for now. And then the rest of it's gonna be straw. Okay, and that fills it up. Oh, that's 78 liters of mineral feed still left over. Did I, I must have forgot to, I must have forgot to turn the grinder on until we got over there, right? Okay, well, we'll throw this in then too. That's, that's okay. I mean, we'll still use it for sure. All right, let's go get the, Feed and bring it on over for the cows. I'm sure they're hungry. Well, they're not actually all the way out of food yet, so they're fine, but we don't ever want them to run all the way out of food because then our milk stops getting produced and everything else. Okay, so we don't have to have you on any longer. Okay, let's back this thing in here. See if we can 
do it in cab view. It doesn't go any further that way. Huh. I had that problem in ATS too. I got to figure that out. The problem is, is I can't really see exactly. Okay, now I can kind of see where the opening is. I'm not convinced that I want to do a lot of first person uh, in this game. It's just, it's kind of cool, but it's not as sophisticated as American Truck Simulator. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying it out again, just for the heck of it. Okay, I gotta get back into this because I'm okay. I was gonna say I can't move. What what's going on? Couldn't really tell that it was turned like that. Okay, so yeah, let's back up. We don't actually have to spread it out evenly. Um, it's kind of fun to do that for realism, but it's not really required. Okay, that's about as far back as we can go. We want to make sure that we are tipping on the right side, which we are. Okay, there you go, cows. Come and get it. Okay, so that should get them fed they have even just a little bit more than they did in january so they're good for another two months so we'll keep feeding them every two months and then at some point we might even come to a point where we can wait for three months okay let's turn that back on and i'm just gonna throw these in And then we'll drop these in too. All right, I think we're far enough over the top of that. We can just drop it on in. There we go. Is it going to consume all of it? That There's a little piece of pallet right there. Oh, it's, oh, okay, so it's got as much in there as it can handle. Interesting. Whoop, <laughs> I just jumped, jumped right over the top of it. So you can't actually stay in there. Uh, the problem is I'm grabbing the whole mixer, not just the pallet. Can I shake it out? Okay, well, I mean, it can stay in there. It's just not going to get mixed until the next load. So it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. Well, we'll have plenty of mineral feed for next time. We won't have to worry about that. You know, if I got, let me look at this again. This is a, what is this, a 24,000 liter? If we got, if we got a 30,000 liter, probably one tank would fill the whole thing and we might be able to do it every three months. Well, this is what we got for now. I can't afford to buy anything else right now. When I say I can't afford to do stuff, that doesn't mean we're poor. We're in really good shape. It's just cash on hand is all. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to deliver the milk over to the dairy and get cheese and butter production started.
Okay, so there is a way. Um, there's a way I can empty the water in this, but actually, now that I think about it, we could probably we can just put whatever water we currently have in the greenhouses. Might as well. Whoops, sorry. Got to take it out of gear. Yeah, we'll just top off the greenhouses with the water that we have in here. That greenhouse is topped off. There we go. Okay, let's head on over to the to the barn, uh, the cow barn, and load up on milk. This is exciting, man. Our very first cheese and butter production is going to start in just a few moments. Okay, so this is the milk parlor. In fact, you know what? I don't even think I showed this to you guys. Let's take a quick look at it. There you go. There's the milk parlor. Milk tank. Open and close the doors. This door doesn't open here. Yeah, those doors don't open. What's in here? Oh, the milking machine. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, it's got the little... Uh, teat sucker thingamadoodles? <laughs> I know there's a name for those, but I can't think of what it is. There we go. Okay. Let's get some milk. So we basically pull up here. And we should be able to start filling. Look at that. We got the milk. 12,000 liters and change. Not bad. Okay. So we can get about 12,000 liters in a two-month period. We'll take this on over to the dairy. I'll eventually have this area nice and leveled out over here. I just, just didn't have enough funds to do it all in one shot. It's not giving me a prompt, but I should. Do I have to go forward more? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's load the milk. Very nice. Okay, now, if we go into our productions, did we look at sales for the day? Yeah, I did. If we go into our dairy here, uh, what we want to do is, I've already got the big warehouse. I did this earlier, so I didn't forget. I already have it set to distribute butter and cheese, which means it'll store it inside since there's no place for it to forward anything onto. Um, so that's taken care of. So we basically just want the dairy itself to also distribute. And what it'll do is it'll it'll just put the... Um, th man, this thing can hold a lot of milk. My goodness. It'll just put the product uh, in the warehouse for us. So it, it's all just in one spot. All right, so we wanna change that to distributing and we wanna change this to distributing. 
Uh, we're not going to be able to make chocolate for quite some time, but we can set that for distributing as well. Okay, and then we activate butter and cheese production. So it takes three units of milk to make two units of cheese. We get 1,200 cycles a month. So basically, we'll get 2,400 cheese in one month. And then for the butter, it's 15 units of milk for 13 units of butter. And we'll get uh, 480 a month. No, 480 times 13 a month. Whatever that is. I'm not even trying to figure that out. So there we go. All right, you guys. We have started our cheese and butter production. Yay us. All right. So I don't know how long that milk will last in there before it uses it up. The ideal scenario is that we can keep milk in there 100% of the time, but you know, I, I don't know if we'll be able to or not. We'll just have to wait and see how things pan out. Um, because then that way we can keep the butter and the cheese pr you know, producing 100% of the time. So we'll just have to wait and see, you know, again, like I said, how, how that all works out. Oh, you know what? We don't need to go back over this way. We are done over here. Okay, so the next order of business is we've got to we got to clean up that manure mess that we made, and to do that we're going to need to get ourselves a bucket, and we're going to we either that or a manure fork. Actually, we could look at that too. Uh, how are we doing on water in these greenhouses? Uh, we're well. Is that the one I filled up? Yeah, it is. Oh, we're fine. Okay. We're fine, uh, but we do have to take care of the fertilizer situation. So, you know, just for realism, let's just go over here and rinse out the milk residue from the tank. Otherwise, it'll get all sour in there. You'll just have to pretend that I'm got it on top and I'm rinsing it out so <laughs> I mean if the game actually allowed you to do something like that I would certainly do it but we'll just have to pretend that that's what's happening here so yeah we're rinsing it out or maybe you could hook up a hook up to the pump or something is there even a pump on here I don't really see one on here huh interesting Okay, well, anyway, we rinsed it out, so it's good to go. Let's park the tank and then take a look and see what the options are for buckets. Um, we're probably going to have to rent one. Uh, either that or I'm going to have to go do the fertilizer contracts to get some cash. But the problem with doing that is that I need to get fertilizer in the ware in the greenhouses. Get in a little bit higher reverse gear. We'll get proper parking for all of our, our vehicles soon. We just can only do what we can do without taking out loans, which I don't want to do. I'll still take out a loan if something comes up for sale that, you know, justifies doing it, but, or if we like completely run out of money and we need some cash on hand to do business that sort of thing but let's just see what we can do without having to do that first okay so we need to find a telehandler bucket uh, I'd rather do well you know we could use a front loader bucket too because we have that adapter uh, but let's look and see what are, what's in the telehandler tools first Okay, so this universal bucket has a 2640 liter capacity. That has a 3000 liter capacity. That has a 5000 liter capacity. That's only a 1200. Okay, um, that's a big bucket. What about this manure fork? That's a manure fork, huh? Interesting. Most manure I've seen in real life is 
Seem, seems to me like it would be too loose for something like this to work. And besides that, it only has 2,000 liter capacity. Well, here's a manure fork. That's 1,760 capacity. The tines are a little closer together on it, too. All right, well, the JCB has 3,000 liters, and this one has 5,000 liters. The only problem we might run into with this one is it might, if we fill it all the way up, it might be way too heavy for the telehandler, but we do have the weight on the back. Well, let's lease this and try it. Let's just lease it. Uh, we can't afford to buy it right now anyway. Yeah, that's a pretty big bucket. Okay. I'm going to drop off the bag handler for now. I guess it depends, too, upon, you know, what you're putting in the bucket, how heavy it is. That is a very nice big bucket, though, isn't it? I don't think any lines hooked to this. Nope. Okay. This thing's huge! Yeah, it's not quite picking it all up. It's like pushing it. Even though it says it's only 90% full. Okay. Well, maybe it's the weight limitation. So if we come over to here we sh for the trigger... Okay, that one's, that's not triggering. What if, what if we drive it up like this? Still not triggering. Hmm. This is the fertilizer side, right? Yeah. Maybe having that other manure in the way is messing it up somehow. What if we did this one? Oh, maybe it maybe it can't trigger from a bucket. Maybe that's what the problem is. Maybe it has to be in a trailer. I'll bet you that's what the issue is. Maybe? Okay, yeah. I'll bet you it has to be in the trailer. All right, well then let's um, let's just dump this back in the trailer then. Stinky. Stinky, stinky, man. But we like it. Free fertilizer. It's organic. We can live with the stink. Easy for me to say because I don't actually have to smell it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we got it all picked up.
Okay, let's pull you back over here for the moment. Nice bucket. It definitely can take a full load of manure without upending the telehandler, so that's good to know. We probably will end up purchasing this at some point because it's just useful to have a bucket around. Okay, we'll hook the tractor back up. Okay, so we need the tipper thingy to show up. Um, there we go. Okay, there we go. And what are it, what's our um, tip side back? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's throw some manure in here and see how much it'll take. Oh, hey, that didn't take very much at all. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, but I don't remember how much fertilizer this held. But here's what we have to do. We have to switch this. It's just the way this mod works. We have to switch to these strawberries because these strawberries use manure, whereas these ones use chemical fertilizer. We can let these continue running until the chemical fertilizer is completely depleted, but let's also activate these now so it starts using the manure. That is really cool. Okay, that's uh, and that's really good news, man. That did not use nowhere near as much manure as I thought it was going to. Um, so, let's just start converting as many of these over as we can as, as we'll take the manure. Nifty. I like it. Yeah, I'll bet you we'll be able to get at least three, maybe even four going. Okay, before we tip that, let's, whoops. Let's come into here. And we want to activate this lettuce. Okay. This is eight. Activate that lettuce. Oh. Does it, oh, does it turn off the chemical lettuce then? Or I'm sorry, the, the chemical lettuce, the chemical fertilizer? That would seem to indicate that it does. And if that's the case, then I want to use up the rest of the chemical fertilizer first. So I'm just going to have to really keep an eye on it. All right, well, hopefully those lettuce plants will come back. These didn't die because I already had the manure in there. I figured it would just keep doing both, but I don't know. It looks like maybe it doesn't. Because it's, you know, it's not completely out of normal fertilizer yet. Main thing is, is we don't, you know, we don't want to stop the, the growing any longer than necessary. All right, so deactivate that. And, yeah, hopefully after a few ticks or whatever, the plants will come back and keep using the chemical. All right, well, what I'm going to do for these other ones is I'm going to I'm gonna drop off the manure, but I'm not going to switch over to it. This is great, man. It really is. This is, this is going a lot further than I thought it was going to. Now, I guess the next question, though, is here again, how long is it going to last, though? Will it last as long as the chemical did or not? We're going to find out.
Okay, that took everything that was left in the trailer, but I don't know if it completely filled it up. Let's take a look-see. Just about. Okay, nice. So one Brantner trailer full of manure can fill up half of our greenhouses. That is really good to know. Come on, door close. There you go. Okay, yeah, I mean, I hope those plants come back. I would expect that they would. Guys, I mean, this is still another two to, two to four days worth of fertilizer, I think. And it's still active. Maybe we have to deactivate it and reactivate it. Did that do anything? Hmm. Says lettuce running. Okay, well, let's just give it time to see see if it comes back. I think it will. I hope it will. Yeah, I'll watch it. All right. Very cool. So, um, what's what else is what else has to happen? We got we got to do fertilizer contracts, so I'm gonna do those, and then we have to cut our hay, and I think our first hay cutting is gonna be pretty much all silage, which means that I want to buy. I did decide that we're gonna use the the extractor. Uh, so we need 34 grand to buy this, which means I need to do the fertilizer contracts first to get the 34 grand to buy this. Too bad it ha hadn't come on sale, but it hadn't. So, and again, just for realism, we will thoroughly wash out this trailer because, for the time being, we also use it for hauling feed around. So we'll climb up on here and get inside and wash it out really good, even though it looks like it's already spotless. <laughs> but we'll clean it out. There we go. Okay. Nice and clean. All right, guys. Well, um, we are, yeah, we're out of time in this episode anyway. Actually, we probably went way over as usual, but I'm going to do the fertilizer contracts. I'm going to cut my hay. And I will bring you back for the next episode when it's time for us to start using the extractor. Because that will be new stuff that uh, we haven't done yet on this series. Uh, so, yeah, that's the plan. So, thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.